welcome to this lecture now let's see how we can just change the MAC addresses so first of all what you need to do is uh, again open that pie charm that we did in the previous lecture so you could see we just uh, see how we can get the MAC current MAC address of this machine from this code but now what we need to do is change the MAC address so before that you could see this code looks like basically uh, in the single line and basically this is, doesn't define the perfect code because it is not inside a certain block that means this look a bunch of very dirty coding so first of all we will make the function that is going to do this for us so I'll just make this current MAC function and this function is going to just return us this MAC addresses so let me just copy again everything and let me just paste it down here in this current MAC and instead of just uh, printing over here you can also print okay we'll just print here so this is uh, basically our current MAC that we did in the previous lecture but for now we have to now see how we can change the MAC addresses and this is very important so first of all let me just go back to the documentation and i have already shown you before that if you want to execute any command on this terminal or a cell you have to use this sub process module so we have already seen the action that is check output method already seen that how this executes the command and return the output which was our mac address now we are going to use another method and this is very 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 important method which is this call method so let's see what this tells us about so first of all it is saying it will run the command okay described by the arguments okay we are just passing the arguments and it will just run that command based on that argument and it will wait for command to complete and then return the return code attribute that means if you just see and go back what we did before so we are just out of this terminal so let me just go again so if you see what we did in the previous lecture was first of all we just did something like i have config and wlan 0 down so basically this was the command in order to get our interface down before actually changing the mac addresses so if you see and if you just analyze this command this command used to be the first command in our list of commands that was used to change the mac addresses so if you see here if you just do something like before before actually just writing this uh, down statement if you just started just actually using this mac changer or um, any other um, maybe this command i have config and if i want to just change the wlan 0 and um, the uh, maybe the ether part what i'm doing so ether part and your mac addresses so maybe 0, 0 if you do this before actually just uh, making your interface down then this is not going to work so that means the sequence of this operation is very important in order to work with the mac changer so first of all you have to always down your network card after that you will just change your mac address and after that you will just make your network interface again running so that is the sequence of the operation that should be executed and this call method is just saying us that so before actually just jumping on the another argument or another command it will wait for that command to complete and after that is executed if we just get the return code that means the first command is executed it will just go to the second command and it will just run that command so let's see how this works and how this is basically going to give us the new mac addresses so first of all i'll just define the method to do that and i'll just say change the mac so i'll just give interface over here and next thing i want to give is new mac so what we just did here is before that i have to just input something from the user that is your interface and your new mac so i'll just say input and i have to give the message to the user enter uh, your interface or a network interface so this will be the information they will just uh, give the information let me just strip this because we don't want any blank spaces and basically this will just give us the perfect interface uh, option or input from the user and i also want 
the new MAC addresses that is inputted by the user. So I want enter the new MAC address you want to change. Okay, this will be also in the string because we know anything that is from this input method it will be in the string. I want to strip this to so we have now interface and new mac while calling this change mac we'll just pass this interface and new mac in the positional argument of this interface and new mac so let's go over here and let's run our linux command to change the mac so you know how to just run this command now we are not going to use this method which is check output now we are going to run the next command which will be call command so in this call command you have to just give this list of arguments that is in the form of list so i'll just say i have config and the next part will be your interface so let me just convert to the string and i'll just say interface that is passed in this mac and after you just pass the interface let me run the first command we are going to get so that command will be down command so first of all you have to just run this down command and that should run in the cell that means i'll just say the cell should be true so this will be the first command that will be executed and you can clearly see over here if you see the combination this is going to give us let me let me just comment this out real quick here so this is going to give us if config okay what i'm writing here if config and basically this space is to denote this space so next will be your interface because this is not going to give any spaces that means we have to just assign explicitly the spaces between these commands and the next one after that is going to the interface so interface will be w line zero if i just enter from here and after that interface this is also given the explicitly spaces because we want the spaces between this w line zero and down command and after that we just enter the down so this is the command that is from this sub process and after this is executed we have to just call another process again and that is your ether process or basically changing the main mac addresses of this current mac so i'll also say i have config and uh, give the space again as usual and add the interface which will be typecasted to the string i'll just say interface and after that you know what to do we have done this many times before so now i have to give space again because i want this ether attribute or the argument to be changed to the mac address so i'll just say again this should be changed to the mac addresses that we just input so i'll just say str and here i'll just pass new mac and uh, let me just give one space again over here so this will be end of this statement again and after you just pass this command you have to say that this is cell and it should be true so we have command here that is executed in order to change our mac addresses mac address basically so next one would be to make your uh, basically infer the interface up and running so in order to do that you know what to call that is this op method so instead of just writing again let me just copy this because the change between this statement and the statement we are writing is only the up to down or basically down to up so i'll just say up so you can see we have now changed the mac addresses and uh, now we have got this uh, new mac addresses enter from the user we'll just send this to change mac and we'll see change in the mac address so what i'm going to do is now i have to call this uh, change mac and that should be done over here i'll just pass the interface in the place of interface i'll just pass the new mac in the place of new mac so we have done this so let's see if this works or not so before that let me say current mac so i'll just pass the current mac over here and um, we'll just input that and we'll just say current mac and change this so before current mac let me just uh, say that 
first of all this will be old Mac is and let me just format this with this current Mac let me just close this so now we have this uh, old Mac address okay I'm saying address old Mac address is formatted over here we'll just uh, see this uh, current Mac and after that we'll just uh, change that current Mac so before that I have to just uh, see the way it is called okay it is first current Mac is called and after that we have called the change Mac okay that is fine so let's run this Mac changer and let's see what is so network interface I want to change is WLAN 0 so into the new Mac address you want to change okay I want to change to this Mac address let's go with another Mac addresses to change and uh, let me just run this one more time so let me just press to run again and uh, let me say the interface will be again WLAN 0 which is my wireless card into the new MAC address let me say 1233 let me say 45 let me say 929322 let me see okay it is six part it is having the six part let me just hit enter and let's see if this is working or not so it is perfectly working now let's go and now let's only check for the current Mac so let's remove calling this one and let's see if this works or not so let's see if we have changed from this Mac addresses which was this current old Mac to this so obviously we have done this but let me just show so okay it is again asking but it doesn't, doesn't matter we don't need that run this again now it will show you the MAC addresses that is the new MAC addresses we just assigned from this current or basically from this change MAC so we just found that we just execute this command on this cell and we just change the current Mac to the Mac addresses that we just entered from here. So this is the perfect example how to change the Mac addresses but you can see here this Mac addresses was entered from the user. What if we want the random Mac addresses so we will just implement that random Mac addresses assignment in the next lecture which will be also the interesting lecture so see you in the next one.